A lot of patients ask me what can they do to really improve their surgical result. You know, I'm going to spend a lot of time removing all the excess skin that you might have, really tightening up your abdominal girdle, your musculature, and really giving you a nice figure from the outside in. I'm addressing the skin and subcutaneous fat down to the level of the abdominal wall and the musculature, okay? But you might need a little something extra. So sometimes you might be a little bit fluffy in that area or a little bit fuller, and that may be because you have intra-abdominal fat. And that's a really important distinction to make. While I am completely able to take care of subcutaneous fat, which is the fat between the skin and the muscle, I cannot do anything about intra-abdominal fat, which is also called visceral fat, okay? Visceral fat or intra-abdominal fat is the fat that you contain inside of your abdominal cavity. That's wrapped around your intestines, your large and small intestine, your liver, your spleen, your stomach basically your vital organs. No one can go in there and work on that fat. No one's going to try to remove that fat because that fat is so intimately involved with your vital organs that, that would be too dangerous to remove. That fat is a reservoir where you basically keep extra amounts of weight, okay? So since I can't do anything about that, that's where diet and weight loss comes in. Plastic surgery is not a weight loss option. And it's really important for patients to be realistic about that. You might still have to do some diet and exercise to really get yourself, you know, firmer and smaller and get a nice little waist and a nice, nice hourglass figure. And those are the things that you can do to enhance your surgical results.